Hi, my name is Jessica and this is The Dollhouse. In today's video, I'm taking a big dive. I'm repainting my Princess Jasmine doll, my 17-inch Princess Jasmine doll, to turn her into the Golden Siren on the Netflix series Love, Death, and Robots. And she was in the Jabaro episode. I hope I'm saying this all right. But this entrenches. This uh, siren has had me obsessed since I've seen her. So I had to create her and I coordinated with um, Stardust Dolls. She made a beautiful outfit for me, which will be revealed when this is complete. But here is Jasmine now, and I'm about to chop her hair and get started transforming her into the siren. Here she is, and she's so pretty. She is pretty the way she is. I do love this doll, but it's not who I want her to be. So I've been calling the character that I'm trying to recreate the um, Golden Siren, but the show actually f refers to her as the Golden Woman. So that's who I'm trying to create. I'm removing these eyelashes and usually I add eyelashes to my dolls, but for this one, the character was actually wearing a mask and her eyelashes were painted onto that mask. And she has a really short bob style haircut. So I have to chop off all of Jasmine's lovely dark locks. And this actually hurt me a little bit. <laughs> But she's going to look great. By the time this is all over with, it's going to be so worth, like, all the changes and effort. And there it is. That her gone. I removed all of Jasmine's original face paint with acetone, 100% acetone. And her hands are sitting nearby because I'm going to start my foundation by painting the hands and the face this gold color and this is acrylic paint like this is just basic acrylic paint that I'm using and I'm gonna use multiple layers to apply that to Jasmine's face and her hands what's not recorded in this video is that that smile there did not fit the style that the, the siren had or I'm sorry the golden woman had in the episode she was almost frowning the entire episode so this doll was actually repainted twice. I uh, didn't really like how she came out the first time. So I removed that smile imprint with um, sandpaper. And then I began to repaint the face in gold again. And this is where I am here. You can still see some of that smile, but I'm hoping to cover and create a look with that once I start painting her, looks on, her lips on. So as you can see, I'm now using watercolor pencils to apply the details of her mask. And her mask had a lot of engravings and paintings on it. Her, her, none of the colors were really natural. Like her eyes had like red and blue lines underneath. She had like six eyelashes on each eye and her eyebrows were a navy turquoise blue, as you can see in this image. And her face was so shiny that it almost looked silver. But I went with accuracy and I'm going to paint her face gold and I'm going to apply a high gloss to her face to make it so shiny that the light catches it. And I'm going to try to make it look reflective as the mask in the episode. The eyes were really difficult for me to capture with this uh, doll repaint because they look so different in a lot of images. Like if you got really close, they looked almost green. If you got really far, they looked almost black. So I went with a gray and I added highlights so they still have that light color, but they still look pretty dark far away. And same thing for her lips. I had to do some play with colors there. Her lips are red, but if you watch the episode, they almost look black in some scenes and in others, they look red. So I did a darker uh, burgundy red color and I'm going to enhance that later on. And that's her face so far. But we're going to add some more details. We're not done yet. The fun part is using the soft pastels and adding those details, like making the lash area darker, creating shadows, and just adding details to her mask to make her look a little bit more ominous. I'm almost done. I just need to add the finishing touches, some gloss and some glitter, and I'll have the golden woman right up. 
here she is, the golden woman. And I am really happy with how she turned out. This project was really challenging and I'm happy that I overcame it. And I think she came out pretty well. The outfit is beautiful. It was made by Stardust Dolls and I'll leave her Instagram account information on the screen. The attention to detail was spot on and I will, I'm just so satisfied with how everything came out and even her communication with the project. I will post more images of her on my Instagram account so please feel free to check that out. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. My name is Jessica and this is the Dollhouse. Thank you.